Hello everyone and welcome to a new series. Today I will be playing Cable Space Dragon Realism Overhaul with Real Solar System and here's the open screen. And now here we go into the board time lapse of our first rocket. I've called this little lad the Buzzard Rocket. I just cause buzzards are very cool birds and yeah, it just seems fitting. Uh, so the series it might be a bit pressed for time because I am rather busy with schoolwork, but I'll try my best to have a somewhat regular upload schedule. So here's the basic design, the basic initial design. I did change up a little bit, as you can see here, just change the avionics unit. Now we are building it, and we're done building it. And then you can see our next, which is actually an aircraft, but I forgot to record the time lapse, so yeah. And look, might be a beautiful sunset launch. So let's launch it. Uh, the Buzzard reached an apogee of about 77, I believe, or so kilometers. Quite a good launch. And ignore the realism overall board something and don't glitch down doing pose. And also the rocket was not supposed to do that, but as long as we get our good 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 sights, it works. So yeah. So we got see we got 5.5 signs from just returning something from that height. Now we're gonna accept the common light contract and then the sound rocket contract. Now we're spending a lot of signs. Basically all of the initial tech nodes and yeah. And then early rocketry as well, because it has some pretty good engines. I did debate whether to go for avionics units there, but I didn't quite, yeah, but just the upgrades, so like, especially to the Araby. And now here we're building the Buzzard 2.0, which basically removes the recovery hardware and adds a more powerful booster. And is capable of reaching space. And now we're onto the Mongoose CTV, crew training vehicle. Yes, this is a, yes, this is a biplane. Yes, it's jet powered. Yes, it looks awful. Does it do the job? Yes, it does. And does it pretty well. We're going back to the Buzzard 2.0. It is barely capable. Like in simulations, it would reach like 100.1 or so kilometers, so it's like 100 meters above 100 kilometers, so barely breaking the common line. Don't believe why that happens, we're going to contract complete the sun rocket contract unless of course the engine fails because our contract is only 60 kilometers. And now, as you saw in the intro, we are taking off in right now actually. So this was a relatively routine flight, just testing the just again the five kilometer rear of true contract. It's actually the service even just popped substantially higher than that. The service is 8.7 or so kilometers before I start having issues climbing again, so I decided to turn back home. And this is actually the first time I've tried to land back on the runway in Kerbal Space Program regardless. And, well I have tried, just never really got it. So as you can see, it's a little bit iffy as I'll say. Like, ooh we're coming a bit fast. Oh, guess what? Turn back up. Yeah, I completely missed the runway. But thankfully, we I was able to still land it, but you'll just have to see how successfully. Anyways, this series might be will have an extremely irregular upload schedule, mostly due to the fact that I am currently in high school and have a lot of work to complete. I joined a few too many clubs and societies at the school I'm currently in. So it's lots of fun, but I am rather pressed for time. And if I want to play a Kerbal Space Program, I have to take time out my sleep schedule. And that's rather important. So I don't have time to play much. But I do find like tiny little bit gaps when I have some time. And we come down six, five, six again, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Butter landing. Yes, it's probably about two or so kilometers away from the KSC, but hey, we landed. It's like the first time I've landed a plane without it immediately dying, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, so as we slowly break and almost die as I break too hard, instead of just 
yeah, I just set the brake limits a bit too high. Thankfully, we didn't crash. So, anyways, I think that's enough for this episode because it takes ages to record footage and I still didn't have the node for those upgraded motors for the Buzzard 2.0 unlocked. So, let's hope that this episode is, this, sorry, the series is rather successful and I'll see you guys again sometime soon. Bye.